Hello everyone. I'm here. Here to play some Genshin. Or sorry, not Genshin, uh, Star Rail. I get confused, I'm sorry. That is my bad, my blunder. But yeah, how is everyone tonight? We are going to get right into it. I don't remember if on this account I've played before or not, so depending on that, we might have to... Uh, okay. So I've already started on this account before. I don't remember anything. So... Is there a way that I can just erase all my data? Must be controls. Oh boy. I have to figure out how to do this. Um. I might as well. I'm gonna get rid of this account. I might as well accept all those and. Do some warps for fun, because it's not really going to matter. I haven't played this in a while. Let's just go for this one, I guess. If I get anything. Oh, we did get someone. What's this? Harmony, Hanya. <laughs> Interesting. So see here um so the voyage continues so we can play up until that try to remember that oh hello everyone i'm back and i should be better than ever so if there was anyone here a few seconds ago I uh, couldn't get in because I had already played on my normal PlayStation account, so I'm going to borrow one. I should be fine. Once we get to where I was before, I can switch back over to my normal one. Kafka's amazing. Could I have? 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Oh, yeah? Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. Okay. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? 
I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. So there must be someone who can see the future. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. Mm. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> okay. Hello there. After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Okay. This won't take long. Oh, could be. Go through May all well this tutorial all. stuff. Okay. Well, I'm in. I can do things now. So let's look around. Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. Ooh, there's old people. She's a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of Noos the Erudition. She could probably age backwards if she wanted. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. Interesting. What do we got over here? Papers covered in math lie scattered on the table. The authors seem to have left in a hurry. We don't need any space station terminal. Okay. I guess let's go then. When did the antimatter legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A doomsday beast is also here. Hmm. A lot of portraits. This is Xander. Xander won Kuwabara, the first genius in history. The one who supposedly created Noose? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an Eon. <laughs> well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. Interesting. I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Poka Kakamond. You see? Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Uh. Interesting. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. Okay. Who's this old guy with a white beard? It's Gandalf. No idea. A society member? Okay. Who's this? Uh, no idea. Okay. <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Scroolum, your good old opponent. Ha! Huh? I told you already. I didn't know it was him. Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. 
that there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Ugh. Seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. The silver wolf must be very smart. Get into some more battle. Keep yawning. All right. Didn't hurt. So now we gotta do the. Never last. Ultimate time to say bye. Boom. Kafka's so hot. <sighs> Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka. Yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys, a catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. So you're gonna take some, right? Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. All right. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. What is a Stellaron? Emergency evacuation. Flashed under the display in the front of a house, receptionist carried out the instructions. Okay. Getting manuscripts. Break everything, you never know when you might find something useful. At least I'm getting some kind of item for something. Hey, looking around is good. I found a treasure chest. Okay. I think I can go now. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Because you won't be able to much longer. <laughs> Time for a buzz. Optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Be cool if that animation, the number would change depending on how much damage you're actually gonna do. 
Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Okay. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. But they're the ones getting besieged. Indeed. May as well kill them all. Let's see. I get it. Stop telling me what to do. that you took the bait just like that <clears throat> relax right. let's just get you rid of all of them never last time to say bye soul here impressive evacuation work did herda organize it herself possibly according to the access history she hasn't logged in here for over six months the evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher a girl named asta it doesn't ring a bell oh right elio said we wouldn't run into her to it seems she really isn't here Where's the Stellaron? Good question. Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't smart. be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. What could that simple trick be? Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay. Okay, the stage is yours. Let's look around. I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. Okay. Let's see, there's anything else to pick up, right? No? I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen. But not the Stellaron. Yeah, they probably want to keep that secret. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Yeah. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. Okay, what are we gonna do? So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Hacking into everything. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm. What's this? Item number 211. Blind spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. Hmm. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. 
Isn't that our motto? It'd be easy for us then, huh? Okay. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Okay. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Okay. What happens if I go here? It's a Stellaron. Stellaron hunters throughout the universe all hunt for. In truth, it's all just a front. Elio knows it. Blade knows it. And you know it too. Stellaron hunters have another true goal. That's why the Stellaron that Herta sealed away will be put to use. Once Silverwolf breaks its seal, you'll have to take it and place it inside a kind of vessel that's been waiting for this occasion. Okay. Okay, I already did that. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. Okay. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio okay. said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, want to give him a new name? <laughs> Let's put in our name, I guess. There we go. How much does he remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Time to get up. What if I don't remember you? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Who are you? I thought you'd remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. Hmm. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen. In the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Hmm. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Hmm. I don't want it. This is also a lovely answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How do you know me? How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. 
When you have a chance to make a choice, Ooh, I didn't know make one what any of those said. You won't regret. <laughs> Push the button too soon. Whoopsie. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March. You better do CPR. Uh-huh. Uh, I, uh, I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. <sighs> Wait, stop it. They're awake. <sighs> Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? I don't remember a thing. Aw, oh, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. My name is Shugor. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung. And this is March 7th. Hmm. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. My eyes are pretty cool. Goon zoned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Uh-huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madam Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Well, I kind of just told you that I don't remember things at the moment. Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Okay. Who are you guys? Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. The Express has some dealings with Madame Herta, so we come to visit the space station from time to time. Okay. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. What is the Astro Express? Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. Well, I don't remember things. Again. <laughs> it's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. Let's you and March go, go back together. Arlan from the Security Department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm, maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Okie dokie. Just a suggestion though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. I'm not so sure about that. Anyone can be felled in battle. Yep. Uh, this is the. Uh, I'm like just outside of the room that Kafka left me in, I guess. A curio that has just been contained by the Department of Implement Arts. Even its archival information is not yet available. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna read all these. Get them though. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect the gun. The rating pistol. Oh, this is the one with the scoring that 
uh, Silver Wolf one of these. Suppose I have this weird little gun suddenly snaps open and it swirls around you for a moment, staring at you with malice. The rating pistol gazed at Sugar. 84 points, it announced. What on earth is this gun basing its score on? I guess I'm 84 of whatever it is. Okay. You're not going to last very long against me. running into me. Get it. Stop. Stop. Get it. Let me play. Let's go. Ooh, excuse me. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Oh, let's just hit him again. How about this? You're stronger than you look. You seem to be quite the fighter. Yeah, it would appear so. Can't go that way. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Some weird black stuff over there. So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Not really. Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? I don't know. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Okay. And it really is that I just don't... I don't know. I don't remember. Uh... So enemies will have the weakness above their heads, I guess. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Okay. Let me do one of these. Let's do this. You can't run. Uh, rules are made to be broken. I like his line. Let's destroy them all. Keep her ability actually. You're annoying. Watch this. How about this? Why is he targeting her? Let's go. Huh. Well, I have both of their abilities back up. over here Ooh. 
Looks good. Ooh. So tired. Oh, let's go. Ah, I knew it. It's broken. But it wasn't me. The antimatter legion must have broken it. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty guilty if you th you thought you were the first suspect. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. I love that. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? He didn't. We showed up first. <laughs> I took another route to the upper level. And I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Let's go ask him. Then let's go talk to him. Okay. Let's add him to the team. March, stay with the group. Oh my gosh. I don't want to level him up, please. I want to level my guy up. Okay. I'm gonna go up this way, huh? Freeze! Clemency? Never okay. heard of it. The time is now. You have the worst luck running into me. Um. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in Broke his guard. I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? to repent the time for that My this turn. is fairly easy <laughs> you couldn't have done it without me hello there hey you're all together well we all walked in together did we not we're from the Astral Express. Not all of us. Oh. Did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. That's a good question. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. 
So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Okay. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. <sighs> March. You didn't lose it, did you? But where did I put it? You... Did you lose it? Ah, uh, here it is. Uh. <sighs> it's now just pulling our leg. We should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Okay. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Okay. Sorry. The space station was entrusted to Lady Asta by Madame Herda. I must do this for the safety of the Master Control Zone and the staff there. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Sincerest apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. Okay. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let okay. us worry about the antimatter legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. And yeah, just let us take care of it. Uh... Trust us. Don't overthink this. Thank you. Okay. Let me upgrade my traces then. They do any of them though. Okay. Oh, let's keep going. Can't go this way. Going down. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's go. Better up. Step aside. I have no interest in. Reach the end of the story in your own way. You got a treasure chest. So tired. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Clemency? Okay. Never heard of it. The time is now. Do it. You're annoying. Step aside. I have no it. DSX Machina. 
Nothing to grab in here. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Didn't they just appear on the other side? Never hurt. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. Oh, so we're just gonna take Herta's stuff? on me okay, let's, let's do it oh it's a destruction cone or something so far. Aw, is that it? We've reached the elevator the already. The chest over there looks like How it's it full of monsters? goodies. Oh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. I don't know how to get over there. You've grown, March. Truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this all. Awesome Use all of our skills so that way they can start recharging again. Rules are made to be broken. this fighting is meaningless told you I could fight broken let's go try that again you can't run 
Okay. Put defense on him. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Good thing I put the shield on him. Well done. That's a lot. Robot saved us. Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. Yeah. March, Dun Hung. You've been through a lot. Oh, phew. Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? Probably not fun. I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. Whew. Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. Oh, really? I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Uh, bye. Nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. Nice to meet you. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Hmm. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Let's see. She's pretty reckless. She almost lost the key card. That's just my charm. And I didn't cause any trouble. You just have to get used to me. Look, Don Hung agrees, right? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Taking the coward's way out, not choosing an answer. I see. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on. Asta's been worried about all of you. Okay. Oh, I made it to the Astral Express now. I don't want to die. Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone? Brace yourselves! Asta, we're back! Well, hello. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. But yeah. on the other hand... The entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. Look at that afro. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. 
At least that might get her attention. Okay. Oh, that would be of great help. So now we can warp. We can summon people. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, not ready to be awake. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. Okay. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. Sure thing. If only I caught the antimatter legion sooner. Uh. To Asta, like. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family, owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. But when she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Uh, it's a 50-50. Well, how's the space station? <sighs> there were a few researchers who didn't make it. Well, that's sad. The rest are fine. Mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Probably not doing well. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. Hopefully they do. I hope all this chaos will end soon. I'm sure it will. Let's go up here. Hello. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. It's all right, let me help. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. All right. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. So up. Is the spectrometer down? Is the filter left? Is the reference level right? Is the attenuator? Our pre-checks have three steps: turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. So up, right down. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Let me hear it one more time. Don't worry, I'll go over it again. The controls are up for the spectrometer, down for the filter. Left for the yep, reference level, right. and okay. right for the attenuator. The pre-checks have three steps. Are you ready? Three. Up, right, down. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. <sighs> I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. That's sad. I'll let him know for you. Maybe I can cheer him up. Hello. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken... No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857! Yeah? I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, 
It will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. You're being way too dramatic, bud. Life is but a path to death, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. Indeed. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. You are welcome, Abraham. Okay. Get a ticket. A whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Go over here. Oh boy. Not good. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. <laughs> Communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. Oh boy. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Okay, why? Hmm? He's that important? I don't even know who I am. How do you know who I am? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Okay. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Uh... Still don't think, think things will go as planned. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Please do. Oh. Well, let's look around. Space anchor. Can I open these? No. Probably can't open the other one either. No interest in conflict. Okay. Let's go for you. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. You won't okay. get away. I have something for you. Uh, let's go for him. Fighting is meaningless. Easy peasy. 
No one took damage either. All right. Keep yawning. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Oh, well, I was assuming I was just gonna use a thing down here. You won't get away. Nice. I've no interest in conflict. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Let's go. Just a scratch. Can't run. Time for an overhaul. Too late to repent. <laughs> My turn. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Things are going pretty well so far. Let's grab this. Is that all? Changing up the bridge. Should be fine. You won't get away. Fighting is meaningless. That was easy. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Do that. Then oh, I have Asta. I'll just level up March. the best one for her, right? Rose. Okay. Let's see. We need a strategy. Bring it. Move this carefully. One, this one's probably going to be a tougher battle. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Spam them all with ult. Rules are made to be broken. Um. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Have luck running into me. Okay. I think that went pretty well. Let's put. Defense on people. Try that again. 
What do you know? I put a shield on him right as they tried to lock onto him. You won't get away. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. Okay. You can't run. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. Time for an overhaul. I might struggle with this guy. Try that again. Perhaps you still don't have humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. No interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you gotta try hard some watch this awesome move. I have something for you. Yeah. <sighs> You can't run. Yikes. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Let's do this. You won't get away. Too late to repent. My turn. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. Let's do that. Try that again. Okay. Ooh. I did it. Great. The more the better. So I got another theme of Bob. That'd be best for. I don't think I have anyone who can use it. Ooh, baby. You won't get away. I've rid of two enemies off the bat, so that's always nice. Told you I could fight. <laughs> you. you can't run. I have something for you. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. You won't get away. Perfect. Huh. Planning everything out pretty well so far. Up here. Okay. So if I put that in, I can level up again. Level him up. Oh, there's an enemy in here. these being problems. You won't get away. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Perhaps okay. you still don't have humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I've no interest in coming to the second wave.
My turn. <laughs> you. Let's go. You won't get away. I have something for you. Okay. Fighting is meaningless. I don't Reach complete. the end of the story in your own way. Yeah, here. Looks good. Up here. Oh, yeah, it's the platform. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Okay. Pretty sure once I go over there, start a fight. So. Just level people up. Wait, march. Huh? Huh? Yep, I was right. The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here. Uh, careful, everyone. Let's do our best. Yikes. It'll take more than that. Ooh. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Okay. Move carefully. I have him attack there. My turn. Watch this. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Attack in the middle. Decisive strike. Let's go. You won't get away. Okay. Let's do this quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Okay, oof. Ends are broken. You have the worst luck running into me. With me Let's out start here, putting defenses on people. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision. One at a time. 
we go. Okay, let's Step attack aside. him. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Let's make it quick. Got it. Oh boy. Gonna get two attacks. Not good. You can't run. Um. Let's try this fire attack. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Not good. Let's go after. Try that again. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Of everything. You won't get away. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. My turn. Yeah. Let me put some defense on him. Right there. Well, I give you a present. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Let's do this attack here. This sanctuary is but a vision. Right. For a now I just overall. need to damage this a whole bunch. The time is now. Oh no. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> Let's go. Better up. Here we go. Clemency? Never heard of it. Got it. Nice. Uh oh. Interesting. Excuse me, sir. Why did you just hit me in the head? Uh, uh, Mr. Yang, is he? They're okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Uh, what is this? 
On the space station? Hello there. Hello. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint, but thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. I would hope so. We... We bit it. Where am I? Where am I? You are kidding, right? Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, alright? Okay. By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. Okay. Exchange your cell phone number with March 7th. Okay, off I go. Bye. Oh, I made it. Oh no. Hi there, it's March. Miko wants to talk to you about something. Don't forget. Okay. Shadow of Destruction. Okay. Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. When enemies are defeated due to the Trailblazer's ultimate, the Trailblazer regenerates 10 extra energy. This effect can only be triggered once per attack. Okay. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> Just going around stealing all the knowledge. Eventually I'll probably read it all. that noise you're awake I had March and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things it's almost time she should be arriving any moment now Ooh. I've only been gone what a few months and the space station is already in this state welcome back Herda this is the true master of the space station genius society number 83 Herda okay at least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Hmm. You're a robot? What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. How did Himiko know that? Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing. I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Good question. Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. My name is Sugar. Alright! I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh! Well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um. What was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. Hmm. Study what? Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. I don't think so. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. 
You know, you're being very arrogant right now. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. Sounds like the better option. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Um... You really are the most self-centered person I've ever met. Well, you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Mm hmm, mm, maybe. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. I don't think I will. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the Master Control Zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Okay. Hey, Sugar. It's Herta. I need you for something good. Come to my office quickly. I'm waiting. But you're right next to me. Automatic reply. Hi. I'm currently unavailable and I won't be contacting you later. Oh, with that kind of attitude, I don't know if I even want to go. Let's add her to the team. Oops. March, lead the counterattack. I believe in you. you the go. Express has been a lifeline. No. Level her up any? No? Okay. Unfortunate. Let's go to Herta's office. Hello. Hey, there you are. Here I am. I haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Okay. Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Okay. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. Okay. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? No, because I don't know what they are. Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. Give me some time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, too. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. Okay. I call it the metaverse. Oh boy. I don't ride that hype train. Oh really? That's what my partner said as well. 
fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Okay. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Uh. Well, I think maybe I should check out some of the other stuff first. Let's see. Uh, One I can summon. Ooh. Let's do this one. Getting some light cones. Hey, I did get someone though. Sampo. Wonder if they're any good. I don't know how to tell. It looks kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to pull him out for now, though. So... Serval. Okay. Let's do this so we can get it out of the way. Get off my screen. Okay. Collecting a whole bunch of stuff. So she's a new one too. Looks like she's electric. Like the design. The Interesting. In her senior years, she managed to reverse her own age via de-aging and went on to solve the mystery of the imaginary leakage phenomenon and even captured and sealed a Stellaron. Madame Herda has saved the planet she was on from destruction 19 times and has met the eons twice. 
This yeah. space station is her property. I like how Herta told me that herself. Zendar One Kulbara. Genius Society member one. I hung up his portrait purely out of respect. Without him, there would be no Genius Society today. Frankly, I don't know what he has achieved. None of his books and inventions have survived. Uh, but there's gotta be a place for the founder of the society, right? Maybe. Polka Kakamund, member four of the Genius Society. A woman full of mystery. Many people in the society died by her hand. I haven't heard anything about her for many years, but I firmly believe she is still alive. Okay? Lord of Silence, if you're here, if you're listening, I'm member 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. Hmm. This is Aiden, member 22 of the Genius Society. The 22? Most That's my number. The strangest one. He spent his whole life helping others. Personally, I don't see the point. But the society is famous thanks to him. The Inter-Astral Peace Corporation has been trying to find a replacement ever since his death. They searched for many Amber Eras, but no genius was willing to lower their head to the IPC. Until they found me. Hmm. Oh, Elias Salas? Such a lovely old fellow. He is member 56 of the Genius Society. One of the only two publicly elected ministers in the society's history. Be grateful to him. He created the synesthesia beacons and overrange remote sensing, the cornerstones of modern cosmic communication. Okay. However, he did not disclose his inventions to the public. So I hereby certify that the rights of these two technologies belong to the Intelligentsia Guild. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Guild, but it is impressive that they managed to reproduce Elias Salas' inventions. Hmm. What about this last one? Member 76 of the Genius Society, Skrulum. I've known him for a long time. He's a really good man. A gentleman with an exceptional mechanical mind. I've learned a lot from him. Recently, I have been working with him and Ron May on a project. I hope this project can help us get closer to the greatest mystery of the universe. What would that be? Let me try this. Yes, just... Trigger, can you see this message? If you do, just tap anywhere on the screen. Your body is still sitting in the office. This is a simulated universe generated from your memories. This is only the alpha test server, where the features are not fully available. Now, try to walk around. Alright. So this is where Kafka and Silverwolf went to find me. There's an auto battle function. There is a murmur in the ember sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the steam, the fossil things stretch their spine from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped on their broad palm. You opened your eyes and realized that this is actually Quilpoth, the Aeon of Preservation. Is this some kind of role playing? There's a huge roar around them. There's a warning for you, then they disappear before your eyes. The calculations are correct. Quilpoth, the Aeon of Preservation, Eh, reservation has really appeared. Herta's voice suddenly sounded, and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblaze, Achilles' Bible, has attracted an old friend. Hmm. But they have run away. What you saw was the stimu- there, the simulated Aeon carefully cultivated by Ruin May and Screwum. The simulated Aeons will ignore us just like the real ones. 
So, I set your simulated identity as Akivili, Aeon of Trailblaze. Eh. To track them. With a click of her tongue, Erta says, Now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into the Aeons, try to get something out of them. What do you want to know? Myths of the Aeons. Anecdotes. Love stories. The origin of the universe. Anything will do. Erta was annoyed. Just think of something. Okay. I'll cover you for the test. See, I use my clearance to enhance your blessing. You can go have some fun. Don't ask why. Just thank me. Go pick one. Hmm. Let's do this one. Okay. Bring it on. You can't run. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. It's all over. Alas, Gulpoth didn't come. I guess as much. Pick the blessing that turns shields into damage and hurry onwards. Okay. Too late okay. to repent. Told you I could fight. Just a oh boy. Excuse me. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> this is our chance. And they're really beating him up. Oh boy. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Let's use these up. Awesome move. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Okay. Beat them all. Come on. Darn it. Well, they probably won't come. Sorry, I temporarily revoked your activity permissions. Uh, nice. I need to apologize to you about something. I confess I'm a little too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Gulpoth's appearance was probably just a coincidence. That's it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. Need a way to heal. Hmm. We need a strategy. Move carefully. Okay. Let's do that. Activate this again. Let's go. 
Let's make it quick. Try that again. You can't run. Let's start putting shields on more people. Let's go. Too late to repent. There we go. Fight is over. You wait in place, but nothing happens. Herta. There is a long silence followed by a deep sigh from Herta. I was expecting them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off this simulated universe then. It'll only take a few seconds and you won't feel a thing. Let's check back in reality. You say it'll only take a second. They came. You hear Herta's stunned words? No. At them. To another eon. Her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this. As if Herta's words solidified and the whole sti simulated universe became somehow unreal. You see a bleary figure made of mirror fragments, and their facial features are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. You see Kafka. Her body is stretched, deformed, and rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand, turning into water, droplets, and falling at your feet. You find yourself becoming a weeping, head bull and baby as an uncut umbil uh, umbilical cord. You remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself dark-skinned and wearing a robe on the wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss reaching out to catch the shooting star. And there, voice suddenly came. The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Before you could say anything, they suddenly disappear. Hmm. Wait, let's talk about Kafka. We did it, Herta yells with excitement. That was Fuli. They thought you were the fallen Kivili, so they actively started a conversation with you. Fuli is valuable for our research because they have the memories of all beings and know almost about anything. Everything as Noah's does. Come on out, Trigger. I want to upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future said you wouldn't end your fear anymore. It feels like a hook pulled your, at your belly button. Your entire body trembled in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Hertz's office. Your first experience of the simulated universe had ended. Success! I have to tell this news to Steven right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Hmm. You should show me some respect. Oh, you're right! I got too excited. Sorry. I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe! It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. This okay. round was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? Hmm. I don't trust the definition of interesting around here. But what can I say? I don't trust it either. For some reason, whenever someone tells me they're going to do something interesting, I end up imagining a pile of trash. Okay, that's a way to look at it. So, I'd rather talk with you about the added rewards part. Okay. In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll think about it. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry. I have Herta now.
Okay. Let's leave. It's getting late. Where to now? Now I can teleport and stuff. Hmm. Scooby. Okay, I'm here. Let's let Himiko know our decision then, I guess. Hello. So, have you thought things through? I suppose I want to join the Express. Um, I still have something to talk to you about. Mm hmm? Go ahead, speak your mind. Uh, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. Okay. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herda may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. Good to know. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? Okay. How about we continue talking on the express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. I don't drink coffee. Uh, have everything taken care of that you need? <laughs> I was ready ages ago. I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Hmm. What's the next stop for the express? As always? To follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds, and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. Okay. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. Why invite me to join? Because you're different. Because of the Stellaron? Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. Okay. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you, but that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herda or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron. And to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. Okay. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. Okay. I don't have any more questions. So, have you thought things through? I... Want to join? Then come with me. The way to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be Some good waiting. music. Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> I'm over here. Hello. Take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Okay. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I don't know why you're being so... condescending to me. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Okay. 
I don't think I've ever been on the train before. You got a milestone. Okay. I don't want to do that. What is this? Okay. Hello there. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Better. Uh, uh, full of energy. <laughs> Great. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. Man. I didn't think too much about it. Helping others without a second thought? That is the most important quality of a hero. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again, but I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. All right. Well, I think this is where I should stop for now, because this is farther than I've ever been before. And this means I can swap back to my normal account. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know there, I didn't think anyone stopped by a stream today, but if you guys ever want to stop by, there should be a link in the description on YouTube. And as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh